Hey there, it's Darlene. Today is day six of my masculine card series. I hope you've been following along. I've had some great cards. So I remembered I had this really cute cowboy stamp, and this is talking years ago, stamping up. I probably never even used it, or at least I haven't used it in at least 15 years. But I thought that is super cute, and it is a boy theme. So it fits along with this series. So I just went ahead and stamped it straight down using archival ink. I decided I was not going to use alcohol markers, which I have been doing lately. And I just used some regular um, water-based markers. And you'll notice that it's pretty streaky, which is the main difference, in my opinion, with between alcohol markers and like watercolor markers. But I was fine with that because I wanted it to look just like somebody had colored it in, which is exactly what I did. So I just used some basic colors, that blue for jeans, a really pretty green, and then a lighter green just to offset it, and then a couple of different shades of brown. Super simple coloring, nothing fancy going on here. I did use a white pen, and I kind of did some highlights here and there, but other than that, that's pretty much it. Now, I will be honest with you, I did use alcohol markers to do the face because I always feel like that's where I don't want it to be streaky. So I just did that as well. But again, super simple card. I hope you've been following this series. Um, again, very cute cards. Click back to my playlist for cards and you'll see all of them that I've made. This is day six. And um, again, if you like this card, please uh, like it and then also leave any comments or um share it, do whatever you do. <laughs> but most importantly, subscribe to my channel if you're not already a subscriber. So I decided I was going to cut some ovals out of the pattern paper. Originally, I thought I would cut it off of the stamped image, but I do something a little bit different. It's almost like I do it backwards. So I took the um, oval cutting system. That, and this is from Creative Memories. Believe me, if I've had this for over 20 years. This is probably one of the first tools I ever bought when I started scrapbooking, and it works perfectly. And I don't think I've ever even had to replace the blades. But this is nice because you use the same guide and for three different um, size cuts. So I did the larger one with um, the pattern paper, and I do the medium one, which is the green it for the blue paper so it gives kind of like a tunnel effect but I love that look and I think it's so fun and I end up just adhering them straight to each other a lot of times when I do the tunnel effect I'll do um um what am I thinking um like foam adhesive to give it some dimension but I thought uh, I wasn't going to do that with this card because you'll see later on that I do add some dimension with the sentiment like I said you'll see that in a little bit but this is just a really basic card um again the two I'm going to call them tunnel pieces, and then I just put it straight over the image. But isn't that really cute? And it really highlights the image a little bit more. I use some um, neutral colors. That pad, that star paper came from a pad called, I think it's called My Guy or That Guy or something like that. Um, but I'll, I'll let you know for sure. Um, I'll have all the information on my blog which will, um, the link will be down in the information box. And uh, again, I'll have all the information of the products that I used. I don't remember the name of the stamp sets, but I do know it's an old Stampin' Up, but I'm talking, like I said, like early 2000s. Um, and I just went ahead and trimmed it with my scissors because, hey, why not? It was a pretty simple guide. Um, and then once I do that, I went ahead and I ad adhered it to the card base. And, um, but before I do that, sorry, I do put some acrylic block on top of it, and that's just to kind of hold the glue, um, to make it really adhere to the image. You can see the acrylic block over there to the left, which um, <clears throat> I had already removed it. I stamped just a basic happy birthday sentiment. Um, I'm making it four inches across because it's gonna go across the entire um, paper and the image. And I do use some foam adhesive on this one, like I mentioned. And oh, there it is. <laughs> now it's all nice and flat. So because with liquid glue, you never want to just kind of let it dry on its own. Or you shouldn't because a lot of times you'll get a little bit of warpage. Now the nice thing is the glue that I use is really for paper um, crafting. So it's not as um, wet, which is weird to say with liquid glue. Um, so it doesn't warp as much, but there will still be a little bit of warpage. That's why I always like to use my acrylic plate just to kind of hold it down a little bit. But the, like I said, very simple card, but also very cute. And um, this is another great card for my masculine card series. So again, I hope you like this card. And if you do, give me a thumbs up, hit that like button, 
don't forget to hit subscribe. I do post two videos a week. One is always scrapbooking and one is always whatever I'm creating in the command center, which is the name of my blog and also my craft room. Um, this week is a little different because I started this series. I am going to try to put a layout at the end of the week because I do have some filmed, but um, just hopefully I get to it. But thank you so much for watching. And again, I hope you've been enjoying all these masculine cards. We have one left tomorrow and then I'll do a little recap. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day.